Hi, welcome to the PI School. My name is John Billick. Uh, I want to talk to you today about the uh, Class CC Intern License. In the state of Florida, uh, we have uh, adopted a program that enables a person with uh, no prior investigative experience to still get into the private investigative industry. Um, we do this through the CC uh, license. The CC license is, is considered an intern license, maybe better described as an apprenticeship license, whereby you study under someone for a period of two years uh, to learn your uh, trade. Uh, private, investigators, uh, private investigations is such a broad subject matter that uh, depending on who you work for, you might be performing uh, investigative work in something that another private investigative agency doesn't do. So most of your training needs to be with the company that you're working for so that you uh, perform uh, the task according to how, how they want it done. So in Florida we have a 40-hour a course uh, that's required. It's a pre-licensing uh, certification and we offer that at the PI school. Um, we offer that uh, online. Um, we have a, a private channel and that if you want to watch our lectures at home uh, you can uh, subscribe uh, to our channel and uh, and get all of the information that you would uh, that you would need um, at home through our YouTube videos. Um, in the state of Florida, you, um, if you have a, a criminal justice or some immediate experience, investigative experience, it's possible that that prior experience or your education can count for one of the uh, intern years that you need to spend uh, as an intern. Like I said, private investigator interns have to spend two years apprenticing. But if you have a, a uh, if you're a criminal justice major and you have a four-year degree, then you only need to intern for one year. Now the difference between a C and a CC is not really it's not there's not anything that we can qual uh, quantify uh, across the board because you might get somebody that has a a degree in computer science and has done uh, forensic um, computer uh, investigations and now they want to do it in the private sector and offer it to the uh, um, to the public and uh, and they apply for a license and they get a class CC license now if I was an agency and I had an investigation where um, a parent or a, a significant other wanted me to come into the house and do a, a forensic examination on their computer. If uh, if I had a guy that was a computer science uh, engineer or uh, major or had his master's degree in it and he had a CC license, it really wouldn't make any difference to my client. They would want the one that was most skilled in that uh, particular area of uh, investigation. So the investigation would go to that CC investigator. Now in the investigative industry, we look as agency owners, we look at the C licensee. If you have a C license, we know that you have some prior experience. And most likely, you're the type of person that could be given a case and, and go ahead and do it and not necessarily be closely supervised. Um, Whereas a CC, if you come to me and you tell me you have a CC license, depending on your background, uh, I might I might know right up front that I might have to spend a little bit more time with you um, to make sure that you're performing the investigation um, up to my particular standard. So the the CC and the C uh, are two designations of licenses, but they don't necessarily um, mean that one person always has more experience than the other. Now, um, in order to 
own an agency, an investigative agency, you have to have on staff a C licensed investigator. Uh, so the reason why I'm saying that is because some people come to the PI school and they want to open up an investigative agency and I tell them that certainly they can do that. Anybody can open up an investigative agency. Anybody can open up a barber shop. But in order to open a barber shop, you're going to have to have on staff a barber. Well, the same with a private investigative agency. It costs $450 to open a private investigative agency in the state of Florida. But in that agency, even though you're the one that opens it and you want to be the investigator, if you don't have any previous investigative experience, you're only going to qualify for a CC license. So you're going to need a C. You're going to need um, a more qualified individual to accompany your application for that agency license. Now, that might sound a little complicated or it might sound difficult to do, but I have to tell you that there are a lot of people that open up A agencies and then hire or arrange agreements with Class C license holders to be the qualifying agent for their agencies and also sponsor the owner at the same time. There are investigators that have Class C licenses, but they don't want to spend the $450 to get an agency license. They don't want to be doing the marketing. They don't want to. They don't want all the other things that comes with running a business, all the other responsibilities. They just want to get a case, go out do the case, get paid for the work. So this would be a perfect, the perfect type of person to partner up with. A person that just wants to do the case, doesn't want any of the business responsibilities, whereas you, maybe you're more entrepreneurial and you want to open an agency and uh, finding that other person um, to fit your plan would be, would be perfect. And it, and it certainly can be done and it, it's done all the time. So I hope uh, the information that I have given you has answered some questions for you. Um, please feel free to contact the PI School. We're on the internet at www.thepischool.net. Uh, you also find our telephone number and our email address, which is info at thepischool.net. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you for your time.